Well, guys, I don't even know how to really start off this video. Just know it's about Jinxie. You've seen the title and thumbnail. And it's kind of a strange situation. I've never seen a situation like this before. But let me just go ahead and explain the, the base of it. So, you know Jinxie. He's a streamer. He's done lots of stuff on the streaming platform. You know, Rainbow Six Siege, all that stuff. But basically, um, he had a girlfriend. Uh, he doesn't anymore. Let me tell you, he doesn't hear more. Uh, and the reason why is kind of interesting. And this is the thing that I've never seen before. So basically, Jinx here, right? He went on live stream. He had a whole talk about this and stuff. And he said something that no man will probably ever admit. Or it's kind of it's kind of a thing that's like, keep it to yourself. And you shouldn't really tell hundreds of thousands, millions of people this. But basically, the main gist of them breaking up is because Jinxie has a corn addiction and that he watches too much corn and he got screenshots of the videos and his girlfriend found the screenshots. I'll go more in detail. Just watch the clip right here of him talking about it. So, yeah, I watched uh, corn videos, but like not only that, like I would watch like specific videos uh, to where like um, there was like screenshots of videos that I watched and like she eventually like would like found out about that like she didn't want to but she did and then i like it broke my heart to see that i heard her and um that's like something where like i'll probably i'll like probably never f i'll probably um uh, i'll probably never forgive myself for that i i think i'm a I do think I'm a good person, but I think um, watching, I think watching any type of like adult films while you're in a relationship is cheating. I know like there's probably, a, there's probably some like idiots that don't think that, but like if you actually do care about a human being, like if you really do care about a person, you wouldn't do that. And um, that's something where I'll probably never forgive myself for that. Okay, now that you've seen the video of him talking about it, you know it's not fake, you know that I'm being serious, and I know that this was a couple of days ago, I just didn't think it was really that important. I didn't get the gist of it, it wasn't all over my For You page, I didn't really know much about it, but basically, there is nothing really much to it. It's, it's kind of a weird situation. So basically, my understanding of it is, Jinxie uh, had screenshots or photos on his phone of the said videos that he watched and apparently he had a selection of videos that he would watch and he said that it was an addiction. Now a lot of people have this addiction but the thing that I don't understand is how is this the one thing that made them break up? Like Jinxie goes into detail on how if you actually love someone and you care for them as a human being and as a person that you wouldn't watch said videos on porn you know but this is something that you have to as soon as you get into a relationship no matter what gender that said relationship is no matter what it, the situation is whenever you get into a relationship there's a lot of things that you need to get boundaries on talk about and stuff like this this is probably one of the things that they should have discussed and they talked about and everything like this because as you know this is the reason for them breaking up. I don't exactly know who broke up with who in this current situation because they have broken up a lot. And I, so many times I don't know who broke up with who. Like I've seen a post saying she broke up with him, then he broke up with her. I, it could have been either side. I know that Jinxie feels really bad about the situation and that he still loves her and stuff like this. But there is one major thing different between him and the average person like me. If he's in a relationship, right, and he does save these said videos, take screenshots, and he watches these specific actors in the corn website, that there, since he's a big creator, since his girlfriend was a big creator, they they are so big of creators, and so many people know them, and they're so well known on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all these social media platforms that the chances of Jinxie actually being able to hook up with these people are so high that it's technically, I guess, cheating. Like for, like just to say, I had a friend and his name was Billy Bob. He had a girlfriend, right? Everything was going perfectly fine. He had these said videos that he watched over time and they're just certain like actors that are in this said video. Bro is not rich. He's not famous. He's just an average dude. 
And let's just say that he had this celebrity crush that did this said thing. And his girlfriend had no problem with it because there was zero chance of this average Joe, Billy Bob, meeting this girl, seeing this girl, or even hooking up with this girl. So in his perspective, this is just an actor that he just enjoys watching, stuff like that, right? But on Jinxie's side of things is Jinxie's so well known in the industry just across everything, really. There's not really a specific industry that he's really part of, part of, sorry, but he, he's so well known that that chance. That's why celebrities don't like um like your cele like if a celebrity asks another celebrity who's your like celebrity that if you met that you would cheat on with me with whatever stuff like that like you know how couples do that whatever it's a stupid thing I don't really think it's really that important it's really stupid but celebrities can't do that because the chances of them seeing each other meeting each other knowing each other are really really high that's like. Like that, that's like um, Mr. Beast telling his girlfriend, uh, this is the celebrity I would cheat on you with if I met the celebrity. Mr. Beast is meeting that celebrity. There is no, you can't do that if you're that well known. Now with the average Joe like Billy Bob, Billy Bob can do that, even if it's real, fake, or whatever. His girlfriend might agree with him. There, this is just something that you have, I know I'm getting way off topic here, but this is just something that you have to talk about in the beginning of the relationship or like that's why the little things mattered like this because if you carry on a relationship for months even years and you find out about this one thing the whole relationship can be over and it's basically worthless and it shouldn't have happened at all because it's a simple little thing now the best case scenario for jinxie is if he still loves this girl and the girl still loves him even though all the stuff that's been through in like a couple months time, a year time, maybe if it takes that long, Jinxie gets rid of his addiction. He actually tries and improves and gets rid of this where he can actually be a sustainable human being without this addiction. The best thing for him to do is recover from that. And if he wants to get back with the, his girl, that he, I guess he can if they're both single and that he can do all this and all that. I know that his girl, ex-girlfriend now tweeted and stuff like, oh, I'm single. This isn't rage bait because they've broken up a lot of times. But the best thing that Jinxie can probably do is carry on from this in the future when he doesn't have this addiction. It's like a drug addiction, basically. Some people like it, some people don't. It doesn't really matter. That's not really the case in this situation. But the best thing for him to do is wait a while, get rid of it, recover from it, learn from it. And then if he wants to get back with her, he does. If he doesn't, there's a thing that he's learned from the past that he can recover and not mess up this situation again. Man, I think I might be a professional yapper because I just talked about this one subject for seven to eight minutes. And I have three bullet points. I don't have this crazy 15, 20 bullet points. The max is like 12. I don't, I don't, I don't really do much. I just know how to talk and I'm really good at talking about random stupid stuff. I just want to point that out. I literally tell my friends I'm a professional yapper because I can, it's just so insane to be honest. But let me know in the comments what y'all think about this situation. Do y'all, what do y'all even think about this? Like in my opinion, it's something that they should have discussed in the very beginning of the relationship. But honestly, it depends on the person that you are, who you're with. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers. We're almost there, okay? Just subscribe. Share with your friends. Maybe not this video. Don't don't share this specific video with your relatives and stuff because that would be kind of strange. And, and don't, don't do that. But other videos and stuff like that, do it. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope that y'all did enjoy. Peace out, guys.